Hi Godly Play Friends, uh, it's Pastor Meg here, and uh, this week I do not have a story for you, but I do have uh, a special activity that I think you're really going to enjoy. So um, I want you to get this out of your, um, your Godly Play Materials box, and hopefully you read the stop sign and you haven't opened it yet. Today is the day that we're going to open this. Um, so go ahead if you don't have it, just go pause the video and then go get it. I'll wait. All right, did you get it? Awesome. Okay, so what we are going to make today, um, they're called prayer beads. And this is something that I have been using for a little while to help me remember um, to remember to pray and to remember, um, gosh, it helps me remember to be thankful. Um, it also helps me when I'm worried to pray and to um, tell God what I'm worried about. And um, it helps me to feel less worried. So sometimes I have trouble paying attention or, or uh, I have trouble remembering God because um, we can't always see God uh, very easily. Uh, and we can't hear God very easily if we're not ready and we're not listening. But if I have something like this in my pocket, then every time I put my hand in my pocket, I have something to remind me. Um, like, oh, I should stop worrying. I should pray. Or, oh, I wonder if there's something that I can look at or hear uh, right now that, uh, that I'm thankful for, that I can thank God for. So we are going to make something like this together. Um, this is my real set. So I have beads on mine that look a lot like the ones that are in your bag. I also have a couple extras um, and I will tell you where I got them. Um, I got this little cross and this little heart off of some broken jewelry that I had. So um, if you have something like that at home and you want to add things to your beads, that's totally fine. But I do not suggest that you use little tiny beads for this, um, even if you have them, because you want something big that you can like hold and feel, okay? Um, all right, well, I am gonna move my camera so you can see actually what I'm doing. Um, so join me in one second. I'll be ready for you. Okay, hopefully this will make it easier for you to see what I'm doing here. So these are my prayer beads that I use myself. And um, and this is how they work. I um, have some space in here and so, um, if I, for example, want to focus on um, being grateful, um, I might slide them over one at a time as I name things that I'm grateful for. So I'm grateful for um, the beautiful sunshine and the blue sky and that God loves me so much and that the Holy Spirit is with me right now and um, that I'm here and I get to talk with you um, and that I am nice and warm even though it's chilly outside because I'm in this cozy house and I'm thankful for my kitty cats. So there you go. And after just naming those few things that I'm thankful for, I already feel calmer and I remembered that God really loves me and that God is always taking care of me. So, um, so that's how they work, and this is how we're going to make them. Um, so your bag has some beads in it, and it has some string in it, either black string or clear string. Um, and uh, you might have a um, one of these little jump rings in it, like this. You might have one of these. You might not. That's okay. It's not. It's not crucial either way. Um, so. If you have one of these, um, you're just going to tie this on the end. But um, regardless, if you don't, not a big deal. So I'm going to start with this one because I think it's easier for you to see. Um, it's a little thicker than the ones you have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a bead. Um, and I think I am going to start with green. 
because it's still the great green growing time. And I like green. And that's what just seems right to me today. And I'm just going to string it on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to do, I hope you can see this, I'm going to put this through one side like that. So I've got it going through. But then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to put it through on the other side. So it should look like Pull it, okay, and so then it'll look like this. And I'm going to pick another one, and I'm going to put this through one side, and I'm going to put this one through the other side, and I'm going to pull it like that. So now I have two. You can already kind of see how they can move up and down. And I'm just going to do one more because this is a short string, and I want to give them space. that way like that and now if you have a jump ring this would be a time where you could um, make a nice knot in the top even if you don't actually you're gonna make a nice knot in the top um, like that and then uh, you could tie this around your jump ring give it a few ties Um, now, this particular kind of string I'm using, it's really thick, which is why I'm using it so that you can see what I'm doing, but um, this particular kind doesn't even need to be tied. You can just pin it together like that, but you'll probably need to tie a knot on yours. Like that. And so now I have one, two, three, four beads, and I can just move them back and forth like that. And if I, want, if I wanted to, I could get really fancy and I can tie other things to the ends. But I kind of like the simple one because it's easy to hold in my hand and it's easy for me to move the beads back and forth. And it makes it easier to remember. Um, remember that God loves me. Remember that God's taking care of me. Remember that, um, that Jesus is my good shepherd. And even when I am in places that feel dark, or lonely or scary that Jesus the Good Shepherd picks me up and uh, carries me back to the sheepfold. That's it. That's how you make your pair of beads. Um, if you run into trouble, uh, I'm sure there's probably someone at your house who could help you. But if not, if everyone in your house runs into trouble, um, you can always get in touch with me. Uh, I am happy to help. We can Zoom or FaceTime or whatever uh, and figure out how to do it. Um, but uh, I'd like to end us with a prayer, and maybe we can use our new prayer beads for this. Um, ooh, my alarm just went off that said I need to go pick up Sam from preschool in five minutes. So we're going to pray. Um, let's see. Let's start. Let's do, a, let's do a good shepherd prayer. So, Jesus, thank you that you are our good, good shepherd. You're our good, good father. Thank you that I am your little lamb and that you pick me up and you carry me, that even when I'm in dark and dangerous places, or I feel like I'm in dark and dangerous places, that you pick me up and you carry me home to the great green pastures and beside the clear blue waters. God, thank you for being with me. God, thank you for my family. Thank you for all of my church friends. And thank you, God, for my pets. And thank you, God, for all of my godly play friends. Um, and thank you that we get to be together um, in this way, even when we can't be together physically. Amen. Um, I am going to give you a quick blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you and remind you always how much you are loved and how important you are to God's kingdom.
See you soon.